Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the Arrowverse. Today we're going to be talking about some new news that was just released yesterday. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, as you guys know, there's always new series in the works. And that goes for Arrowverse, that goes for any show in the CW or any network for that matter. But the CW is going forward with a couple of other spin-offs that were previously announced. And so just yesterday they confirmed that one Arrowverse spin-off, not Justice U, which we'll talk about later. Obviously that is the David Ramsey-led John Diggle show. But in fact the new Batman family related show, Gotham Knights, which is coming from the Batwoman writers. So we have previously heard of the series being in development like they were coming up with the screenplay and they've obviously finished it now and they're at the point where the CW has seen the screenplay and now they've given them an official pilot order and this comes from CW owners Warner Media and Viacom CBS who will form a production team and they will put Gotham Knights into development. Obviously don't get your hopes up because this is a pilot and pilots on TV literally like over 50% of them get cut like you know, they film the pilot and then if the network doesn't like it, it doesn't go ahead. So there's always the chance that they film Gotham Knights and they don't ever show it. Because say the CW doesn't like it and they don't think that they should air it. And it doesn't have potential for a full series run or at least like a couple of seasons. That's at the point where they will ax it. But for now, it's very good news for Gotham Knights and for everyone who's looking forward to it. I'll talk more about my opinions about Gotham Knights in a minute. But with this pilot being picked up, you're going to start to hear more and more about the details of the show. And obviously, we've been given some bare basics. And I'm going to read a description from the Hollywood Reporter article that I'm reading from right now. And so it goes like this. Gotham Knights comes from Batwoman writers Chad Fivash, James Stotterow, and Natalie Abrams though it's not a spin-off of that series, and it's based on DC Comics characters made by the creator of Batman, and is unrelated to the upcoming Gotham Knights Warner Brothers game that they are releasing very very soon. And so it begins like this, so following the murder of Bruce Wayne, his rebellious adopted son forms an alliance with the children of Batman's enemies when they're all framed for killing the Cape Crusader, with Gotham as dangerous as it's ever been, the group of fugitives could be the city's next saviors. So it is a teenage based show because you know it's going to be the leading character is Batman's adoptive son who is obviously rebellious. There is questions about who that could be. It's pretty much confirmed it's a form of Robin. There's a high chance that it could be Damian Wayne or if we're thinking someone more villainous you would think Jason Todd. This isn't based on a specific comic book, it's just taking characters from the Batman comics and using them in a new way to explore this kind of new story that they've got with, you know, the son of Batman working with Batman's greatest villain's children. And it definitely has an interesting premise, you know, starting off with the murder of Bruce Wayne and, you know, there is the big question of, is it actually connected to the Arrowverse? I think the way that they will explain it, if the show does go ahead and get like a season one order, it'll be explained as, oh, this is on another earth and that's why Batman is dead. Obviously, this is the murder of Batman, so it's unrelated to what happened in Batwoman where Batman has just disappeared. Because in this case, they all know he's been murdered and so they've been framed for it. And so he works with Batman's enemies children. They're all going to be roughly the same age. So you could look at it as like a kind of rebellious Teen Titans type show. That seems like what we're getting at. And the main story of season one will be about forming the Gotham Knights, forming this teenage team, but also to prove that they are in fact innocent. And with Gotham as dangerous as it's ever been, the group of fugitives could be the city's next saviors. So, you know, the children of Batman's enemies are going to become good and they're going to help people. And basically, Batman's son, who is going to be Robin, most likely, will step into the mantle of Batman at some point. Even if he doesn't become Batman, they're going to lead the show and they're going to lead this group like Batman would lead the Bat family, say. But my thoughts and opinions on this... I really like this concept, I think it's very good, and obviously it's going to extend much further beyond just the murder of Batman, that's just like going to be the thing that kicks off the series, and then beyond that we're going to have 
season one and then if it got you know other seasons that would probably be more about exploring them as a team and exploring them as heroes but this isn't the only pilot that is coming that is arrowverse related like i mentioned earlier there is the david ramsey show justice you which was recently announced as being in development over at the CW. This is the description of Justice U, so in the new series, which is set in the Arrowverse after years of fighting alongside masked heroes, Diggle embarks on a new mission to recruit five young metahumans to live undercover as freshmen at a prestigious university. There he will oversee their education and train them to become the heroes of tomorrow, and so in addition to starring in the series, if it is picked up to pilot, so right now it's just in development, Ramsey, who has directed a number of Arrowverse episodes, will helm the pilot. And so this is set in the Arrowverse, it's a concrete thing that could potentially happen. I think out of any of the spin-offs that were announced recently, this probably has the best thing going for it, and that is that David Ramsey is behind the show, he is the driving force and they love him in the Arrowverse, and I would be extremely surprised if they don't go down this route and they don't pick it up to pilot or even to like a straight to series order. I think Superman Lois did that when they were developing it. Like they were just like, yeah, this sounds great. Let's go ahead and do this. And so I love that Justice U is so Arrowverse centric. It even says in the description, like they make a big deal out of it like in the Gotham Knights thing they make a deal out of it being not a spin-off off of Batwoman and they also don't confirm that it's in the Arrowverse so it's more of like a separate project similar to Naomi so there's always a chance however there is those other projects in the past like Wonder Girl which never went ahead and I think maybe it was because there wasn't enough interest but in a show like this which would essentially be an Arrow spin-off because it's led by John Diggle and as a team-up show too which can introduce many more DC characters and kind of build the Arrowverse up for a new generation it's the perfect idea for a new series and so with the announcement that Gotham Knights has been picked up to pilot we're waiting on Justice U to be picked up to pilot and so more decisions will be made over the coming weeks and months for other CW projects. I would guess that the CW is holding some stuff back for the upfronts when May hits because in May, mid-May, there's going to be the CW upfronts which they try and do every year and it's been two years since they've done a physical upfronts event so they're going to make a big deal out of it and you know normally the cast, the crew, the showrunners, they're all there with their respective shows and it's a big event to announce all of the stuff that they've got in development whether that be new series, just like a new season of a show or a big crossover which we've theorized about like I do think at some point maybe at the CW upfronts they are going to announce a big crossover for next year because actually next year marks the 10 year anniversary since the Arrowverse started and they're going to want to do a big crossover for that and you would definitely suspect that some of the Arrow cast would return from the past so like I'm pretty sure Stephen Amell is going to be asked to come back and you're going to have David Ramsey. Like, imagine if those guys showed up to the CW upfronts. That would, like, break the room and break the internet, too. So, I'm expecting something big and hopefully a big crossover announcement, along with maybe the announcement of a show like Justice U. And I'm not saying that, like, you know, David Ramsey's going to show up to the upfronts. That's obviously not confirmed, and we don't even know if this is going to get picked up for a pilot. But I'm just saying I think there is a very strong chance that it does get picked up to a pilot, and maybe does the Superman Lois and just go straight to series because of its inherent connections to the Arrowverse with Diggle being such a big character from the past and you know just the idea of setting this in the Arrowverse and maybe continuing the Green Lantern storyline that he has going on currently right now even past the end of Arrow so there's so much potential and I'm just saying that the upfronts could be a good event and a good day to announce maybe it going to series or it going to pilot however i guess it is quite a long way off like right now we're at the start of february it's february 4th right now and the upfronts wouldn't be happening to about mid-may so that's still a couple more months and maybe they're in proper development like fully into justice U right now and maybe they want to announce it earlier if the cw does make a decision in the next like couple weeks or month or so but i do think it would make waves if they did it at the upfront and like david ramsey came out in person to announce it so that is just you know me theorizing but 
I'm really excited about both of these shows. Like, I really do hope they both happen. It's interesting that Gotham Knights is Batman related and it kind of does the Batwoman as well where it starts off with the disappearance or in this case the murder of Batman and that's where the story kind of spins off of so it's very similar to Batwoman which makes sense considering that it's coming from three Batwoman writers but I think it's actually a bit more interesting because it's you know that combination of maybe Robin teaming up with these villains and it's kind of like a Teen Titans type show but also I guess there is a bit of competition here because Justice U is similar in that the description of the show is John Diggle, obviously he's much older than a teenager, but he's going to be the kind of mentor figure leading the show and leading the team. He's going to be recruiting a bunch of college age students who just so happen to be metahumans or aliens and they have powers to become part of his team and that sounds a bit more like Young Justice. So I guess they would be vying for a similar demographic, but like I said, I do think Justice U has a leg up because it has Diggle involved in the show. Because right now, Gotham Knights, all it has is the Batwoman writers, but I don't think, you know, by having a couple of writers is going to sell a show more than a main star who is already really established in the past in the Arrowverse is going to do. So what do you guys think about all of this? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm really interested to see your thoughts because this is just obviously my personal opinion. I'm very excited about it getting picked up and I do hope to get some news soon in regards to David Ramsey's show. But for now I just wanted to remind you guys if you want to take part in these videos, occasionally I do Q&As, so go over to the community tab right now. I posted a new post and you can leave a comment or a question or a theory and if if it's good I'll pick it out and I'll include it in a video sometime maybe later this week so be sure to do that if you have anything that you want to ask and if you want to be featured in one of my videos but for now if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe turn on notifications if you're new you can also become a member of the channel if you want to support the channel by clicking the join button it's just next to the subscribe button and you can choose any tier and you can join in with our members and there is a couple of new exclusive perks which includes joining our monthly member zoom call that we normally do but for now click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video and I'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.